Give me that. I have some very, very, very sad news to report. Brutal Bob will not be here tonight, and maybe not for quite a while. You see, it seems he had the, the horrible, horrible vision of what happened when a young Vermont lady, giving her valedictorian speech at Dorset High, revealed herself on national TV. And let me tell you something, after looking at some of you Vermont women, I'd get real sick too. Tell them the truth, tell them what really happened, come on, we got it. You want me to tell them the truth? All right, well, I'll tell them the truth. You see, we have something to show everybody here tonight. <laughs> Brutal Bob is now officially a prisoner of the wrestling wars. It seems to me we have various independent promoters around here that want to tell people what to do. Well, that's fine. The triad has no allegiance to any promotion on this planet. And you boys, just like the GMW boys, have screwed up. All you have now is members of the triad running it down there. And just like we will take this federation over and run it in the ground, they'll do the same. And then maybe when it's all done, we'll get back together and take over another one. You got anything to say? And boys, while you hit me behind a mask, Green Mountain has me behind gold. That's good. That's very, very good. Uh, I believe you have an important match coming up. Why don't you two go back in the back and uh, get ready. You got something you want to say? Uh, how about your, uh, your feelings there about uh, the New York Posse coming out here and uh, kind of, you know, bad-mouthing you? Now, I will say this. I have respect for the New York po I mean, Posse. Excuse me, Posse. The New York Posse. Ooh! Boys, I've left you out of this because I had some respect for you. You want to mess with me? You mess with all of us. Ask anybody else here. I've gone through them all. I've taken out Sonny Goodspeed. I've taken out Richie Rich. I've taken the legendary Brian Walsh and reduced him down to nothing as I wear his television title. Boys, you want to mess with us? You want to get hardcore? Let me tell you something. You boys think you can swing a garbage can? <laughs> and you know this for a fact. Nobody in this business swings a garbage can like me. And maybe tonight, you'll find out. Here's your job. Do your job, Mark. There you go. Comments from uh, Colossus Scott Sharkey, the Green Mountain Wrestling Television Chancellor. Oh, Scott, uh, wh why exactly are you down here? Well, you know something? People come out, they see Green Mountain Wrestling on the marquee. They know they're going to see the triad, the power in professional wrestling. Number one in professional wrestling. And you get all these promoters, as Colossus talked about. You get some guy that was here. Couldn't be a star here, so he bought his way into another promotion to be a star there. Still isn't. Then you have these hick, hillbilly, wrestler wannabes that never will. Got rid of them, too. So it all comes down, Green Mountain Wrestling, where the triad is. Number one, the power. There you go, comments from uh, the, one of the members of the executive committee, Scott Brimblecombe. We'll be back after this.